When are you due? This week, we're demystifying the secrets of calculating your due date. In this video, we'll talk about calculating your due date from your early ultrasound. Once you start showing, you'll probably be asked the same question a hundred times a day. When are you due? Strangers, passers-by, friends, family, everyone will ask you. You probably got a date from an online calculator or from your OBGYN. But how did that mystical online calculator or magical in-person person come up with that date? You're in luck. Week six of 40 Weeks with Dr. Martin is all about your due date. In the first video for week six, we talked about how to calculate your due date using your last menstrual period. The second way to calculate a due date is by ultrasound. The most accurate ultrasounds come from early in pregnancy, during the first trimester, which means before you hit the 12-week mark. Your OBGYN, midwife, or radiologist will take a measurement of the fetus called a crown rump length. In other words, they draw a line from the baby's head or crown to the butt or rump. Your ultrasonographer will take three measurements so they can use the mean of all three. The computer then compares that length to the normal length for a fetus based on age and produces an estimated gestational age, which is the fancy term to describe how far along you are in your pregnancy. It will also spit out a due date based on the estimated age of the fetus. The earlier the ultrasound is performed in pregnancy, the more accurate the crown rump length dating will be. If completed in the first trimester, the crown rump length is accurate within five to seven days. For some reason, I absolutely love the term crown rump length. It is so much more fun than most of our medical terms. What if you don't make it to the ultrasound before the second trimester? In the second trimester, the crown rump length estimation is less accurate. So, your provider will take other measurements of the baby, such as the head circumference, abdominal circumference, and leg bone length to improve the estimate. Due date estimates made in the second trimester are accurate to plus or minus seven to 10 days. In the third trimester, the accuracy is even lower, plus or minus 21 to 30 days, almost a whole month. This highlights the importance of getting a first trimester ultrasound and connecting with your medical team as soon as you know that you are pregnant. If you watched the first video from week six, you now know how to calculate your due date using your last menstrual period, and from this video, how to calculate it using an ultrasound. But what if these two dates disagree? Never fear, the third video from week six covers exactly this question. I hope you've enjoyed week six of 40 Weeks with Dr. Martin and that you feel very certain and confident about what your due date is now. If not, you can always call your OBGYN's office and ask what she thinks. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down below. Subscribe to the channel. You can find me online at thepregnancydoc.com and on Twitter at Dr. Eva Martin. I hope you have a fantastic sixth week of your pregnancy. You can find complete notes on my website, thepregnancydoc.com. Please note, nothing contained in this video is medical advice.